Hello everyone, my name is Nina, welcome back to my channel, it's a really good life. Today is Monday the 2nd of July and as is quite often the case, we are starting off our vlog with me in my really awesome van. Rob is driving and what am I doing out at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when really awesome folk like me should be tucked up behind four walls and a door? Well, I am off to catch up with Bus Stop Films, a local film provider. I mean, a local film, <laughs> a local film teaching company who are um, running a film studies course for people with a disability. Now, do I have a disability? I don't know, but that, uh, technically I guess so. So I thought I'd go along and see what it's all about. This is the information session. If I like what I see, I get to sign on the dotted line and sign my life away. For the next few months, I'll be doing film studies on a Saturday, which definitely ties into my one of my NDIS goals, which is to be um, exploring art and be more engaged and socially aware in the community. But I mean, how much more socially aware and engaged could I possibly be in the community? Because I am one busy girl. I had a handyman come over today. Yes, yes I did. He's gonna do a few things for me in the house, but no, I'm not gonna tell you what. Uh-uh, not shit, my girls. I will show you later what is going to go on with that. And what else did I do today? I didn't go to physio. I piped out of physio. I did not feel very well this morning, so I piped out. That's unacceptable behaviour, Nene. Bad girl. But I will be there back next week with Mr. Lamb. Bah. I am um, going to work tomorrow. Nothing of very important happening this week. Just work, sleep, eat, repeat as we all do us nine to five corporate chicks. So off we go on the road, heading to film studies course. Give me a yeah. Woo that wasn't very, um, oh. didn't really have that kind of bajazz. All right, let's try again. Where are we going? Film studies course. Woo! That's better. See what you can do when you put a bit of oomph into it. Oof. We have arrived at the destination, Flagstaff, as you can see behind me. It looks rather grim, a little bit run down, but you know, looks, looks are not what's important. Rob has suddenly become a wheelchair user and is going to back my chair out of the van so I may alight into my chariot. I tell you what, I'm keeping my expectations reasonable to minimal. Never ever get your expectations up about these kind of things because it may not be all that it's cracked up to be. So, bearing that in mind, let's go in and see what it's all about. But I'm, I'll roll. Okay, cool. Alright. <laughs> Many of you on the phone or through email. I'm the um, Live Choices Manager here at Flagstaff. And I'm really excited uh, to be able to offer the first um, film school outside. Well, I finished up at the film info session. I hope you can see me. It's a little bit, it's dark now. It's about um, 5.42 p.m. I, can I be honest with you? I mean, do you expect anything less? I, so I'm going to have a think about it over the next day or two. And obviously I'll let you know what my decision is. But at the moment, I'm a little bit, little bit hesitant. So anyway, we've, I've, we've stopped here just to get some Chinese for dinner because I can't be up to cooking. And um, then I'm gonna roll home and probably watch some Netflix. Good I'm gonna show morning, you. everyone. How are you? It is Thursday now. And my God, doesn't the week fly by so quick? And I have got my wheelie walker and I'm heading over to my favorite little trendy cafe. Yes, as I do every Thursday, it seems to be the highlight of my week, having someone else cook for me. Jesus, I'm out of breath already. Oh, the old legs are not playing hardball today. 
Now, anything interesting for me to report? Yes, tomorrow night um, here in Wollongong there is a queer arts festival and apparently my artwork, my pictures that were taken of me um, by a local artist Kylie Miss of Miss Photography will be displayed. In fact, I dropped off, well I got them dropped off yesterday for me and I am told I'm already on a wall. How's that for visibility? Oh Jesus, I need to rest in a minute. Oh my legs are like concrete. Anyway, I'm off to work today. Uh Get the um, eggs on sourdough, just fried sunny side up, uh, and with a side of bacon, as well as a pot of English breakfast tea with full cream milk. Oh my god, that was so bloody tasty. I really, really, it's my, it's, it's the highlight of my week. How can breakfast at a cafe be the highlight of your week? But it is for me. And I swear to god, I love that tea. I should be pissing tea the amount of dr I've drunk. That was three cups this morning. Oh, seriously. All right, I gotta quickly, well, as quick as, quick as an old codger like me can, head on home, cause Chev's about to pick me up in probably, oh, about, three minutes or so i just saw his van i'm sitting in the cafe and then i just saw his van head down there but yeah better rush oh shit you get so mad at me if i'm late he'd be like nini why can't you be on time oh. i don't know matthew gets shy oh god so i'm gonna do that tonight it's the end of the day now. I've just broken free from the office and I'm zipping down to um, catch the taxi with Chev. The Thursday night, it is Thursday night, it's not Thursday night, Eat Street markets are on, but I'm heading home to cuddle my dogs, drink my tea and watch Netflix. I'm gonna have a quiet night. No emails, texts, Facebook, nothing. Just silence. Good morning, Kundu. Love you. You gonna get up for breakfast? Are ya? No, not really. Not gonna get up for breakfast. No? Okay. There we go, sweetie. There's your breakfast. Do you want breakfast too? Yeah. You want breakfast too? Yeah. Morning. Hey, Kenny. Sit. Wait a tick, hang on. Sit. Oh, there we go. Good boy. Dante, there. Breakfast. Yummy. There we go. Look at you. Who's a pretty boy? Yeah.
Wait, Pour right. the water. Good morning. This is my official good morning to everyone. It is now Friday. What's the date today? Six. Six. Friday the 6th of July. It is the morning of the opening of the Queer Arts Festival and my pictures are going to be on the wall and that is why I am in such a crackerjack of a good mood. I'm off to work first. Look at me looking all schnazzy. I've got my TS14 plus pants on. This top is by Sarah. Sarah? Is it called Sarah? Sarah Boutique. And um, yeah, my bags are packed. Laptop, all the rest of it. Phone, keys. Oh my God, I... Oh, and and Sh and Chev will be here at ten past eight. The day the day has just begun, and it is going to be a crackerjack of a good day. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm in the van now with Rob. It's Friday night, just on six o'clock. The art gallery is opening. The opening starts at six, and we have to be there in fourteen minutes. Do you like what I'm wearing? Hello, it's um a shirt. It says. I am not disabled. I just really, really like wheelchairs. And for me, I think that's pretty fucking true. So, yeah, oh my God, the thought of I am going to see myself half nude on a wall in public is just a little bit too much to bear at the moment. It's just like, hello, Sally, how'd that happen? What would my mama say? What do you think my mama would say? She would say, Nina, you've got good tits, duh. No, I don't know if she'd say that. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, I hope I can film some in there. I'll try to do sneaky cam. I don't know if I actually can film or take photographs. I'm not sure. I don't know how all the etiquette for this kind of stuff works. But um, I think this, this kind of meets my NDIS goal of um, social and community participation, don't you think? I've just arrived at the gallery and holy shit, reserved parking. Oh my God. Also extend in this very important week uh, my acknowledgement of the first people of this land and to pay respects to their elders past and present and particularly given the theme of NAIDOC this year to the amazing, resilient, inspirational Aboriginal women who have... Uh, I just want to make a change, I just want to change, I just want to change, I just I have achieved my fucking goal. I am on the wall. And this is the only the first wall. How's that for inclusion? surreal obviously I'm home now it's about 9 p.m. I want to say that the LGBTIQA community were so utterly welcoming to me tonight 
Um, I had a parking spot reserved out the front for me, right next to the Lord Mayor of Wollongong, Gordon Bradbury, and Federal MP Sharon Bird. And there's my reserved parking spot.